Hello everybody, my name is Tony here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own custom prisons in The Escapist. First off, when you open the game, you're going to have a little menu that asks if you want to, use, if you want to play the game, or you want to open the map editor, and this is what you're going to have. Normally, this won't be here. You would first have to go to Project, then click New, and then this will appear. First thing you're going to have to do is pick a name for your prison. So, for now, we're just going to call it Test Prison. And then you can select the tile set. The tile set is the tile sets you can use are from the different prisons from the base game. So, you have Guardian Gate, San Poncho, Jungle, Shelton State, Pri State Pen, Stealth Lucent, and Perks. Uh, so, we're going to go with uh, Perks for now. And then you're going to get all of this. You're going to have your tile set, you can have objects, you're going to have properties. This is all of this is important. And one thing for you to know is if you exit out of any of these, you can easily reopen them by clicking panel and then selecting and then selecting one of them. Then oh yeah, you also have mode which is paint and erase. So paint is basically, you can activate that whenever you click any of these. And erase, you just have to go in there manually to do. And you can erase any of the tiles or objects you've placed there. So the first thing you want to go through is the properties panel. Basically you want to, basically this it allows you to rename your prison in case you want to change it. Give you Gives you the pro give you who you want to name your warden. You can write down the warden's note. Select the amount of inmates and guards you want to have. The max amount is, for inmates is 20, and the minimum is the minimum is five, and the max is 20. The minimum amount of guards you can have is five, and the max you can have is 15. You can set the prison style. You can set the NPC level. You can set the music, and you can set the grounds, and you can set the floor. Okay, so let me go through all these one by one. Prison style. This depends on how high security your prison will be, based on the routine structure. So min would be min. Okay, you can read it from the bottom. Uh, min security is minimum security, like under perks. Mid security is shake ton. Max security is max. Max sec is max security, which would be iron gate. And camp would be like jungle and slag. So for now we're gonna do min security NPC app wait level of min security average low and high okay that's basically um the 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 stats of the inmates and guards like their strength their speed and their intelligence so we're gonna do average right here for warden's name we'll just do. Uh, we'll do me, and then, welcome to prison life where no one can hear you scream. <laughs> okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the type of floor, we have grass one, grass two, as you can see, if you look to the right, you can see the different types of grass changing. So you get grass 2, you have grass 3, you have snow, you have sand, you have black, and D and DTAF. I don't know what that is. Uh, we're just going to go with the basic grass 1. And then, over here, you have main. This is what this is, this is is main. And then, you have jobs, which, is, which allows you to set what kind of jobs you want. So what I'm going to add is laundry, wood shop, wood shop, metal, kitchen, uh, let's see, mm, deliveries, a tailor shop. That's it. Then mark, let's see, laundry. Like from starting job, we can select your starting job right here. It can be laundry, it can be any of the jobs, or no job. So we're just going to do laundry. And then perimeter is basically the perimeter is the box around the map that is considered out of bounds so basically that's basically it for the properties and now we're going to go over the tile set and the objects 
So tile set, you can you can get you can understand this by looking at it. This is your walls, your floors, your your little your uh, obstacles and fences and that all that jazz. And then objects is everything else. So you have your doors, you have the cell objects, you have the gym objects, you have jobs, you have everything for jobs, you have everything. You have wave, we'll go over waypoints later. You have security. You have misc, which is basically random items like a prisoner stash, the fence stuff, uh, infirmary beds and solitary beds, the computer, tables. You have stuff for the jeep, which we'll go over later, and you have a zip line. So, the first thing we're going to go over is setting up a. Basically, we're going to set up the prisoner cell. So, you want, what you want to do is grab type of wall they use to type of uh, specific walls and you want to set them up so since we're gonna do easy let's see I'm just gonna add the cells real quick and then we'll be right back I just realized I forgot to mention another thing with properties is the grounds basically grounds is where is what type of prison is so you can have an inside only prison an inside outside prison and outside prison so we're gonna just do inside only and I'll get over how to do stuff like that do all this, all the ground stuff later. But for now, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go over the cells. So as you can see right here, I have finished setting up five cells, five basic cells. And as you can tell, I don't have any of the, the cell objects or doors in. But I just want to go over real quickly that tiles cannot go over tiles. So basically, if I wanted to have like, if I, you might want to say, well, I want the floor that gets chiseled away. When you chisel away this, I want the floor to be wood. Okay, I place wood and then I'll place this chisel wall. It doesn't work like that. You can't put tiles on top of tiles. You can only do, the only way that works is with the objects. So like if I place a cell door here, when you open that cell door, it's gonna be the wood tile. So we're gonna add in all these cell doors. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna click this and collect our cells. Now one thing you should need, you need to know is that you only need one player bed and one player desk in, this, in the prison. So you have that, you have a player bed, player desk, and that's all you need, basically. For prisoner for prisons, you just need the bed and the desk. But you can also add the toilet, you can add the TV, you can basically do whatever you want. So I'm gonna add in the toilet up in the corner. There you go. And one thing you can do is add other things to the cells, but we're going to go over that at a much later date. So, once you have your cells set up, you need you might be wondering, well, uh, how will the guard, how will the prisoners know, or how will the game know that these are actually cells? Well, one thing you need to, oh, I need that, I work. Uh, what, one thing you need to do is go into layers and select zones. So, as you can see here, when you click and drag this across the screen, you select the specific what these are. You define what the zone is. So for me, this is cells one, and this will be oh, this will be cells two. Then oh, move this over. Actually I should just I should have just done Okay, wait, alright. This will be Let's see, your cell, and these will be cells one. So basically you have to have, you have to highlight the, the specific area that the cell, that the object can be. As you can tell, these can be overlapping, like the walls and stuff. These zones are very important for like, the guards. So like, let's say if you weren't in the caf canteen area, if there weren't any zones, for a, if you have a canteen area and you didn't fully cover it, if you're, if you have like, if you're like over in the area that seems to be the canteen but the zone isn't covering it, the guards will yell at, yell at you for being in there, for not being in the canteen. That's basically how these zones work. They're very, you really need them. As you can tell with layers, there's multiple layers like roof, vents, ground, underground. This is ground, basic area. We'll go over everything later on. First, I'm going to finish off 
the, my five other cells, and then we're gonna, and then we're going to put over their zones, and that will just be the end of the episode. Alright, I finished my last five cells, as you can see here. I also added this little hallway connecting all the cells together. So we're going to go to Layers Zone, and we're going to select all of these cells, and mark them under Cells 3. As you can tell, there are only 10 cells, cells, cells types. I used to think that I need to place one cell over each individual cell, but I recently learned that you just select a whole the whole area, which is why it's just called cells, and not just cell one, cell two, cell three, and all that. But this is this is basically how the zones work with the cells, and that will this is pretty much it for this first episode involving the prison cells. And I will see you in the next video, going and we'll be going over jobs and stuff. So see you guys next time.